Welcome back to A Moment in History. I'm Seth Udinsky. In today's segment, let's go back to the mid-20th century and explore one of the most famous figures in American history. This man was a hero both in the American Civil Rights Movement and in American sports. On April 15, 1947, Jackie Robinson became the first African American to play in Major League Baseball since the sport was officially segregated in 1889, permanently shattering the color barrier between whites and blacks in America's national pastime. Now, to capture the significance of Robinson's influence, we need to understand the social climate of the United States in the 1940s. At this point, America was still largely segregated. Many of the racial undertones of the antebellum era continued after the Civil War, and these would be made manifest in numerous segregation laws. These Jim Crow laws mandated separate schools, water fountains, elevators, neighborhoods, and opportunities for blacks and whites. Institutionalized segregation even reached so far as the sphere of professional sports. Black baseball players played in their own professional conglomeration, the Negro Leagues, separate from Major League Baseball. Though the talent in the Negro Leagues was high, its size and influence were significantly smaller than Major League Baseball. This is where we meet the man who would cross the divide, Jackie Robinson. Robinson was born in 1919 to a single mother in Georgia. A soft-spoken boy, he became a highly successful college athlete at UCLA. After serving in the U.S. Army during World War II, Robinson decided to play baseball and joined with the Kansas City Monarchs, one of the premier franchises of the Negro Leagues. While traveling with the Monarchs in 1946, Robinson caught the eye of Branch Rickey, the general manager of the Major League Baseball franchise, the Brooklyn Dodgers. Rickey believed that Robinson was talented enough to make it in the big leagues, and he signed Jackie to a Major League contract for the 1947 season. Before his first game as a Dodger on April 15th, Ricky spoke to Robinson privately. He said, Jackie, we've got no army. There's virtually nobody on our side. No owner, no umpires, very few newspapermen. And I'm afraid that many fans may be hostile. We'll be in a tough position. We can win only if we convince the world that I am doing this because you're a great ball player and a fine gentleman. Robinson would not disappoint. In the midst of discrimination off and sometimes on the field, Robinson proved his worth as a player. He spent 10 seasons with the Dodgers. In 1947, he won the National League Rookie of the Year Award. In 1949, he won the National League Most Valuable Player Award. And in 1955, he led the Dodgers to their first World Series championship over the New York Yankees. Robinson was voted into the Professional Baseball Hall of Fame in 1962 and would prove Branch Rickey's prediction right. He would forever be remembered not just as a great baseball player, but as a shining example of humility and class in the face of great hostility. Robinson died on October 24, 1972. Thanks so much for joining me once again for A Moment in History.